Hey guys, Leeson here. Welcome to my analysis on the T-33 Law. Firefight. Spartan, we need this area locked down. Nobody gets in or out. The T-33 Law fires 8.1 millimeter, well, fuel rods that are attached to reloadable clips. The weapon is capable of semi-automatic fire and is considered extremely resilient in the field, leading to its extremely pervasive use by Covenant forces during the Human Covenant War. T-33 laws were particularly employed by the fleet of Valiant Prudence during the Fall of Reach, mainly Grunt Heavies, Elite Generals, and Brute Chieftains. Trademarks are abundant on this gun. Just the screen alone, you can see a bunch of Covenant markings. Over here, there is one marking near the trigger, and another near the foregrip. Lastly, there is actually a couple more on the barrel. As far as features go, well, much like the T-52 GMLE, I don't know what to highlight other than the cool fuel rod clips, and the barrel, along with the top portion of it, actually recoils back each time you fire. Also like the T-52 GMLE, the T-33 Law features a scope only on the left side. The T-33 Law holds 5 rounds in the clip, plus 25 extra spare rounds. The fire rate I got was 150 rounds per minute. Reload speed was around 2.21 seconds. Max effective range was 38.29 meters. And the max effective range when zooming in was 76.36 meters. Moving on to blast radius results, I got 7.45 meters as the max blast radius. As for shield break and kill radii, there is none. The closer Jim moved to my reticle, the shots started to magnetize towards him for the instant kill. Very strange for a Covenant rocket launcher to not have a more lethal explosion, yet still kills with one direct shot. First strike. And that's the fuel rod gun. Overall, I'm not sure what to think of it because it's not featured in Halo Reach's competitive multiplayer, to my knowledge anyways. I want to thank you guys once again for watching these videos. I really do appreciate the kind comments I get, and I do read your guys' thoughts on these weapons too. This kind of marks the end of my Halo Reach weapon analysis, but not quite. There's still some loose ends I'm going to cover before I send this series off. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe only if you enjoyed the content on this channel, and let me know your thoughts on the Halo Reach Fuel Rod Gun in the comments below. Thank you guys for helping me reach 500 subscribers, another milestone achieved, let's see if I can earn a thousand before the year ends. Might be a hard task, but let's see what happens throughout the year goes by. And until next time, peace.